It was December, and I was driving back from Arizona. I had just wrapped my first real job since I put my career on pause. It felt good to be back working again after so many months away. I could have taken the northern faster route, but I had no urgent business back in LA. However, as I passed by Campo, something compelled me to revisit the southern terminus. Something called me back. It was only moments after sunrise, and the wind was biting cold. My hands went numb as I paged through the logbook, taking in the names of the dozens of friends who signed this register weeks and months before we'd ever cross each other's paths. The names of those who would eventually become companions and mentors to me. Moral support. Spiritual relief. For all the time I spent out there, I don't have a single photo of their faces, only these names. And considering my inclination to bear witness to life through the perspective of a lens, this was damn near tragic to me. I took a couple days to retrace my steps through Section A, the first 100 miles of the trail. I stopped to visit the spots that held some moment of significance for me, as the first week was undoubtedly one of the most memorable. Everything felt so new, so promising. Memories I had overlooked began flooding back to me. I felt like a phantom haunting the presence of my former life. My reasons for starting the hike to begin with re-emerged in the forefront of my mind, and for the first time in months I longed to return to this strange and untraditional lifestyle. Best view of the PCT so far. A summer defined by not much beyond satisfying the most imminent and elemental of physical needs. It was somewhere in those hundred miles that I felt summoned back. And for a brief moment, my life felt like it had some sense of clear purpose again. I needed to return. And this visitation, it sparked the fire back in me again. I'll carry it north as far as I can.